<laughs> All right guys, how are you doing? In this video, we're going to unbox and compare the brand new Samsung Galaxy S9 to the older, couple year old model now, S7. This is probably an upgrade that a lot of you guys from the S7 want to go to the S9 because the S8, the previous model, is actually pretty similar and a lot of people probably won't bother upgrading. But for you S7 guys, this is probably a viable review. And I'm not a professional guys, I'm no phone expert and I'm mainly going to be focusing on the camera on this thing and do a real world test. You know, I'm no professional, I'm not going to be putting these things on tripods, I'm not going to be going into any professional settings, there's going to be stock settings out of the box. Alright, let's get it cracked open. Open. So by the looks of it, we've got a USB adapter and apparently what you can do is plug that into the older phone and you can transfer all your files. So I'll be doing that. We've got the charger, we've got the phone, uh, we've got a little USB Type-C to old type USB adapter, whatever the hell that is. USB cable, earphones. Uh, I don't know what that is. Alright guys, this bit here looks satisfying. Oh, that feels good. Oh, we got another one. Oh, that feels good, guys. Alright, so it feels quite light, actually. When I compare that to my old one, it's a the old one's definitely a little bit heavier. So, size-wise, it feels a little bit thinner. Height-wise, there's not that much in it. The S9 being just a tiny little bit taller. Width-wise, um, we're a little bit smaller on the S9. So, pretty much roughly the same size. So externally, the only difference that I can tell so far at the moment is that that home sort of power button, that's gone. Looking underneath, we've still got the headphone jack and we've got USB-C as opposed to this old school USB. I forgot what it's called. The fingerprint sensor has been moved to the back, which I think is actually quite good because I use this phone in the drone quite a lot of the time. And when that's in the controller like this, it's quite difficult to get at this button there. But now with this, it'll be a lot easier just to reach around the back and get it activated. Alright, so I don't want to bore you with a whole setup procedure, but pretty much you can switch all the details from this old phone onto the new one. So you plug in your old phone charge cable, use this little adapter, plug that in there. By the way guys, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just following the on-screen instructions. So hopefully I won't have to do any setting up on a new phone because it's going to transfer all my stuff from the old one onto the new one. Alright, and looking on here you can choose which things you want to transfer and which things you don't. So I want to keep my contacts, my messages. All right, apparently this can take a while. So I'm just going to let it do its thing. All right, so I'm going to use this phone now for the next couple of days just to get the hang of it, take some different photos and different videos in all different lighting conditions and stuff like that. And then we'll put you back on. This is indoors. Fairly low light, both phones recording 1080p, 60 frames per second. All settings on auto. Now you're hearing the audio on the S7. And now you're hearing the audio on the S9. Alright, so let's go next door into a room where it's a little bit darker and more echoey. So this is natural light in here, this is the audio on the S7, and this is the audio on the S9. Outside in the sun. See what the focus thing's like, so close up. Far away. Close up. Far away. All handheld, no stabilization. Alright, 
So this is both phones set to their best resolution, both on 4K. Just the S7 is on 30 frames per second, the S9 on 60 frames per second. So everything always looks good when you hold it steady, but it's when you start shaking it about and being fast is when it starts getting bad. So let's see which one handles it better. Do the focus test again. All right, so this is the selfie camera on both phones, both set to the maximum quality. So this is the audio on the S7, and this is the audio on the S9. And this is in a quite well lit area. We've got a lot of natural light looking outside. So this is indoors now on the front facing selfie camera, a little bit lower light, do some fast panning just to see what that looks like. And then we'll go into here which is pretty damn dark. And focusing with that front facing camera. And this is back in here, natural light but not really that much of it. We shake these, give it a shake. So let's see how close we can get with both of these. This is outdoors, at night, a little bit of street lamps, 4K. If you start moving it a bit faster. All right, this is on my voice over microphone now. As you can see, there's not really that much difference. I mean, not for the price, I would say anyway. I mean, the S9 does focus a lot faster, but that could be down to the S7 just being old and getting a little bit tired. Audio-wise, I would say the S9 has a slightly better sounding microphone. It sort of does a better job of filtering out any of the noises that we don't want. But overall, in the low light, uh, there really isn't as much in it as I hoped. And now just looking at some photographs, I'm just going to not really say much, just let you guys sort of make your own mind up what you think. So the images that I've zoomed in on, I've zoomed in at 500%, so five times zoomed in, that's a digital zoom done on my editor afterwards. And as far as I can tell, there's not really a great deal of difference between the two. Alright, so it's been about a week roughly playing with these two phones. So what are my first thoughts? Is it worth the upgrade? Um, probably not, I wouldn't say. I mean, on the S9, picture quality ever so slightly better. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that much better. Photos, you can barely notice any difference. Video, a little bit better in low light. I, would, I wouldn't say it's day and night. I mean, if, if the camera's the only reason you're going to upgrade, I'd probably say no. Um, the other difference is, is the fingerprint reader. On the S7, we got it on the button here. On the S9, it's on the back. And at first, I didn't like it. But 
I actually prefer it now. It, it feels a lot more comfortable when you want to log in. You just quickly reach down like that, and and you're in. And it seems it does actually seem easier than than doing it with this one somehow. And I wasn't really a fan of losing the physical home button, but oh, I'm getting used to it now. So I wouldn't say that's a bad point. Screen wise, this screen's a little bit taller, and even though width wise. These phones are almost identical. The screen just kind of feels bigger on the S7. You know, when you're just using it, it just feels bigger on here. I don't, I don't know why, it's, it's just weird. Maybe it's that edge display or something. But, I don't know, screen-wise, there's not much in it, but uh, I don't know. I'm kind of leaning to the S7, but that might be because I'm still used to this one. Give it time, I might prefer this one. So the edge, uh, uh I wouldn't say I'm a big fan. If you're an Edge fan, then definitely a plus point. Speed of the phone, I mean, loading up apps it is a little bit quicker. When I'm, when I'm hitting YouTube apps and Facebook apps, it's a little bit faster. But, but this phone is a couple of year, years old now, so it's kind of to be expected. All right, so quick audio test. This is one of my own YouTube videos, and this phone here, S7. Alright, and now the same video clip on the S9 with the Dolby thing switched on. You'll probably notice a much richer and a much fuller sound and also more volume. So definitely on the speaker side of things, S9 massive plus point. Back to the S7. Should you do the upgrade? Uh, I would say probably not. I mean, it's got this Bixby, Bixby button, which is a load of rubbish. Um, camera, slightly better. Uh, I don't really know what much more to say. I'm not really a phone expert, other than just I use it for making calls. I use them for making videos, and that's pretty much it. So, all right, guys, hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, smash that bell button to stay notified. Links in the comments where you can buy both of these phones from. I mean, this one is so much cheaper, so even if you need a new phone, I would probably go out and get this one. All right, guys, see you soon. <laughs>